Welcome. This is Dr. Ray Ramirez from Lakeview Veterinary Clinic, helping pets live the best life possible for as long as possible. And we're here with one of our clients, Sean, who has a little story that we want to share to encourage you to get your cats and dogs microchipped because of a little scenario that developed here with Sean. So we'll share a little bit about that. All right. I uh, got my cat at Taz at the uh, Tree My Animal Shelter. They put a chip in him. And about four, maybe five months ago, I brought him down here for his uh, vaccines, got all that taken care of, mm -hmm. and I'd always carried the cat around in the yard, and he never made no notions yeah, to jump. Yeah, he's always been good here, too. So I thought, well, I really don't need a cage, and he jumped and took off when I left here. And about a week or two ago, I got him back. He's a little puny, but he's getting better. And the uh, woman that found him took him to a clinic in Morton, mm -hmm. and she paid to have him checked out, and they run his chip, and it come back to us, and the woman that brought him to us also takes care of the cats that go to PetSmart. And we got him home, he's fine now, and I never leave without a a pet carrier anymore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Yeah. yeah, that's another great thing really with this. Yeah. Not only the microchip, but making sure you have a pet carrier. Right. You know, around the house, they're more calm, but of course anytime there's different noises and things right. like that, that yeah. can scare them. You don't know what's going to spook them, and then it's hard to, to keep a handle on them. Right. Yeah, that's great. But they run the chip, and it come back to us, and that's the best thing you can do is get your animals yeah. uh, microchipped. Yeah, and the other thing that's real important that you mentioned, because most of the shelters, I think all the shelters, we're talking here in Tazewell County in the greater Peoria, Illinois area. Right. Some of you may be watching this on YouTube, who knows where you're from. Um, but all of the pets there come with a microchip. But the important thing that you did from the beginning, too, was they have a little form so that the microchip then gets registered to you. Right, and right. And especially nowadays with the cell phone numbers, it's very easy if you go on vacation with your dogs or your kitties. Right. If you're in another town, then... And the pet again with something like this gets away. They, your microchip, your your with your cell phone, they're going to get back to you. Yeah. One of our favorite stories is two Christmases ago, we had a client come in that noticed a stray dog running around in the neighborhood. They didn't recognize the dog. Two took a couple neighbors. They didn't recognize the dog either. So they brought it here. We scanned it for a microchip. Found a microchip. We called the company. Turns out it was a family in Denver, Colorado. Wow. What's that doing here in Peoria, Illinois? Right. We called up the family on their cell phone. Turns out they were visiting family just in the next block over huh. from where they found the dog. Well. They were just starting to organize a search party like we'd been doing with Crybaby the last yeah. four months here. And so we're able to get them reunited before everybody's panicking. Where did the dog go? So right. these, these microchips save lives. They help get the pets back if they are found right. with that. Yeah. So, I was glad. We yeah. looked and looked and looked. And down the street from us, somebody had thrown a towel out in the road, and it had a dead cat in it. Oh! And my my cat's solid black. I didn't stop and unwrap it to check, but I one of his legs was out, and I, it was a cat leg. It wasn't oh, a dog. No. Yeah. I didn't stop and check. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. And I thought, well, he's gone. Yeah. So I adopted another cat. And since Crybaby's been back, all oh, tensions were real high for a good while, but now they're starting to mellow yeah. out. And good. And that's pretty, that's not unusual at all. Yeah. And I know we have a lot of food out here and everything, but I mean, obviously he traveled all the way to Morton, which for those of you that aren't familiar with the Peoria and East Peoria geography, I mean, that was a good three and a half, four miles away yeah. from where he he left off here, so we were all our food that we were putting out. We were probably feeding the raccoons and everything <laughs> else around here, trying to get it back. But um, well, he he had a little bit of hair missing on him, yeah. and they said, oh well, it, he was attacked by a coyote. That's oh, wow. not true yeah. because I lived out in the country in Tennessee. I know what a coyote yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. I would have never got him back if it yeah. was a coyote. Yeah. So, but fortunately, he did because of the microchip. So that's really our message here, just another story showing the importance of microchipping your pet and then getting your microchip registered to you with your cell phone contacts. So if you have any questions about that, we'd love to see you at our Lakeview Veterinary Clinic office. If you're from outside the greater Peoria area, contact your regular veterinarian to ask about the microchipping, or we would love to see you at Lakeview.
Okay. Sean? Thank you. Thank you very much. That was great. Yep. That was very good. Hopefully, we'll, if we save one life, it's yep. going to be worth it. Yep. Very much so. Okay. You guys have a great day. Yep.